Hey guys, it's December 14th, or at least I think it is because I already ate that chocolate out of the advent calendar. I'm gonna check. Yeah, it's actually the 14th. Okay, um, it's late at night. I intended on making a video earlier today, and then I fell asleep and just woke up. So yeah, um, I just thought, and I, I don't think I ever really explained my surgery to you guys, even though this channel is for that. Um, so I thought I'd give you the basic lowdown on the whole surgery thing. Um, so, I got my braces in June, and they're supposed to be on for like a year and a half, two years, and then my bottom jaw is going to have an underbite. So the bottom jaw is going to be up further, and um, that's going to cause some problems. My teeth already don't touch in places, so it's going to help that too, but um, it's going to be the major underbite fixer there. Um, but yeah, so after two years of braces, and I, I kind of think it might be this coming summer, or in the winter, I don't know, they don't, they don't really tell me, they just, two weeks before it happens, give me an appointment slip. So yeah, but the surgery is going to be like, I assume six hours long at least. Um, yeah. It involves them cutting my jaw and pulling it back and titanium bolting it together. Um, along the bottom, there will probably be like at least four bolts, I think. And then after that, they elastic your mouth shut so that you can't move your jaw. Um, you're on liquid food for about, I think it's three weeks. And then you can go on to like applesauce for probably like four weeks. And then I think you can start eating solid food again if you can stomach it. I don't, I don't know. Um, there's a definite weight loss that's supposed to occur. Probably like 20 pounds because you're really not eating that much in the first month and a bit. I don't have that much meat on me to begin with, so I'm going to have to bulk up just for surgery was told that I needed to get fat before it happens. So I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, yeah, but I am looking forward to having straight teeth from the braces and teeth to touch. So that when I actually bite into an apple, I'm actually biting it. Um, I have pictures here because they give you this stupid book. It's a parent's guide, but I've read through the entire thing. And, um, there's a picture you hear of what they're doing, but this picture is wrong because my teeth are my jaw's not being left unbolted. My mouth is gonna be like this picture, minus the chin, because she has nothing to do with me. Um, the chin is mostly for kids that have an overbite and have no visible chin. My chin sticks out naturally from the side to the bottom, so I'm set. Um, yeah, that. The bad issue with this surgery is the fact that it's considered elective cosmetic surgery, um, simply because it's my face. Um, it's not elective by any means. I, I don't want it, nor did I choose it. I was told when I got my braces on that two years time, you are getting your jaw broken. So yeah, I, I, there was no choice there. Um, they also say it's not required. Well, the, to the medical beneficiary, people are like, no, we're not covering it. Um, it's not chosen, and it certainly is required. Um, anything that impedes your eating ability should be considered top priority, I would think. Apparently not, um, it still counts as elective, so, I don't really know what happens there, um, I do know the surgery is, like, it's expensive, 
I don't even know how much it is. And then my wisdom teeth are like $2,000. So I can assume my jaw is going to be... I don't even want to know. It's expensive. Um, most of that money is supposed to come out of my dad's pocket. Although some of it will come back with his, uh, his benefits, but not anywhere near. Like, he won't even get half of what he spent. Which kind of sucks, because... He didn't really want me getting braces to begin with. And then I come back saying I need surgery. So I, I double whammy again. For sure. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you guys are getting surgery, you'll probably get, probably get the 16, but... If not, it'll be something like it, but it's extremely cheesy. But it's worth the time to read so that you know what's going on. Um, that book has everything. It has like how to take care of the pain, how to clean your teeth with the elastics still in, what to do and what not to do, what bleeding is normal, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any more questions about that, let me know. I will answer them with no problem at all. Get on there. See you later.